We're starting a little differently this morning. Sonny, you were just on an episode of Finding Your Roots with Henry Louis Gates <laughs> Jr. It was. Yeah. And he gave me some surprising revelations <laughs> about my family history. You know, I was really reluctant. I don't know how you felt when you did it, Whoopi, but I was really reluctant to do it because I just sensed that there could be something in my family history that would be um, disappointing. Um, negative. Negative, yes. I thought I was going to have that kind of moment. And Skip had asked me to do it for a long time. And I finally decided to do it because I thought it'd be helpful for my children and my children's children to know mm -hmm. what their mm -hmm. real history mm -hmm. was, you know? But what I found out was that my mother's family, while um, they are Puerto Rican, they actually originate from Spain. And the reason that they moved to Puerto Rico is because the slave trade mm -hmm. had been sort of canceled in Spain and then Curacao, and then they moved all of their slaves to Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. And so the, biz the family business, I had been told that they were printers and journalists, but they were in fact enslavers. Mm -hmm. um, and my mother, <laughs> so a hush fell over the audience. It was deeply disappointing. <laughs> And it's deeply disappointing because my mother really identified as Puerto Rican. She was part of the civil rights um, movement. And um, she was deeply ingrained in black culture um, and, f and identified herself as black for race, but um, Hispanic for ethnicity. Okay. But her race is white. She's European. Yeah. yeah. Um, I know. Yeah. It's weird because when you look at her, my mother's blonde and she has light eyes and my whole family looks like that. So I think inside, I sort of knew that this was my history and that's mm -hmm. pr probably why I didn't want to do it. And I spoke to my mom about it. She was deeply disappointed. She actually cried about it. And then she said, maybe that's why I have been so connected to black culture because it's an atonement in my spirit. Mm. And um, mm -hmm. I, I received that. I also found out that, and there were slaves on both sides of her family, mothers and fathers, but we are 7% indigenous Puerto Rican, Taino. So I'm proud of that. Um, and then I also found out about um, my father's family, his family, all slaves, then sharecroppers. But once they got their freedom, one of my ancestors, his name is Dean Cummings, and we use, my, my maiden name is Cummings, and we use the name Dean in our family. A lot of cousins are mm -hmm. named Dean. In, uh, I have this book of life. Thank you, Skip. Yeah. It's very thick. <laughs> um, I have a, uh, an ancestor, my third, third, my third great grandfather, uh, immediately registered to vote, even though he was illiterate. And he voted with an X, Dean Cummings with an X. And then he was threatened with lynching by the KKK, uh -huh. by others in the South. And he voted the next year, uh -huh. and the next year, and the next year. And the next year. So he voted nine times with the threat of lynching. And, you know, they say in Puerto Rico, the blood calls you. And I, I, voting is so important to me. You know, you guys know I go to voter drives. I drive seniors to voting polls. I've never missed a vote. My family thinks it's crazy. I'll vote for anything, local something, constable, I'm there. And um, I think I get that from my, my, my ancestors. I really do. I think, I think you carry your ancestors with you. So it was really eye-opening. So there were good things. There were not so good things. I also found out that on my father's side, the grandfather that I thought I had was not my grandfather. Oh, wow. There was another person. Um, and so we are establishing a relationship with that family. And I have, wow. I have five uncles and uh, aunts that I didn't know about. And so that's kind of cool that my kids now, and my father has five siblings that he didn't know about. Mm -hmm. um, and he's the eldest. So that's I thought fun. that was great. And the last reveal <laughs> is that... Is it who you're related to? Yes, I have a cousin too, Whoopi. <laughs> Anthony Ramos from Hamilton. Oh! He's cute. Isn't he cute? <laughs> He is, he, a is, lot. he is my cousin, and um, I reached out to him, and it's kind of cool because he was the youngest actor in the original mm -hmm. Broadway mm -hmm. play mm -hmm. of Hamilton, and he is multi-talented. And I've interviewed oh, him before, God. but I didn't know we were cousins. I interviewed him for the Puerto Rican Day Parade. I hope that they still let me host the Puerto Rican Day Parade. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have a little bit still left in there, right? Is there no Puerto Rican in there at all? No, I, I have 7%. 7%. 7%. 7%. 7%. 7%. 7%. 7%. 7%. 7%. 7%. 7%. 7%. 7%. 7%. 7%. 7%. 7%. 7%. 7
Seven percent indigenous, but the thing about Puerto Rico is Puerto Rico Puerto Ricans are are Spanish, Spanish. they're Native American, and they're yeah. African. Right. And so my family just happens to have a, more of the. Um, Co well, you know, they, Sunny, how the does this conquerors. change you, though? You mentioned your mom was upset, and this was shocking, and maybe deep down you kind of resisted it. How has this changed you, knowing what you're hearing now? You know, I think at first I was deeply disappointed. Um, the I still, slave thing is a bummer. It's a bummer. And well, I, it, and she I can't control and, it. And I, I still believe, <laughs> I know, but still, I still believe in reparations, like, by whoa. the way, so y'all can stop texting me and emailing me and saying that I'm a white girl and that I don't deserve reparations. <laughs> That's, I still believe oh, that. Someone did that to you? Yeah. I don't know who what? sent her a thing telling her she was a white girl. Okay, it's, it's, it's too much, people. But clean off your television screen. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, that's a lot. So I, 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 I still believe in reparations. I still believe this country has a lot to do in terms of racial justice. Um, but what I will say, Sarah, to your question is that I feel that um, I'm enriched by knowing that history. Yeah. I, I'm enriched, and I'm enriched by knowing that my family has come so far from being enslavers to my mother marrying my father in 1968. Well, yeah, that's yeah. right. I feel enriched. Yeah, sure. You're not responsible for what they did. Well, I'm... I, uh, what I did, and I was hoping they'd find I was related to Mussolini or something. <laughs> but nothing that's... like that came up. So... <laughs> This is an interesting tidbit, but no. Well, when are we doing yours? I don't I know. know. I did I'm it. I'm doing yeah. mine. It's in the can. You're doing yours too? Yours Mine's is, in the, yeah, they're working on it. Yeah, we also? shoot at the yeah. end of the year. Okay. Now Sunny's got me petrified, but yeah. I think... I learned a lot about my family. <laughs> I think I wasn't expecting great things. <laughs> yeah. I would like to find uh, some, uh, some cousins or siblings. I don't even know who's out there. You're yeah. expecting oh. siblings? Well, Usually it's Discovery back generations, not yeah. like... She knows well, that I, she's I cousins found... with this guy from Hamilton. Yeah. I don't yeah. find anything out That's like that. That's generations You didn't get a cousin? Though. No. <laughs> I was just going to say, what be the only thing I discovered was... Uh, well, you don't have time. Never mind. No, no, tell, tell me. Tell, tell yeah. us. Oh, I, I thought I was Lebanese. I'm half Syrian, and my family's from Aleppo, and we never knew that. Really? And I... Oh. It's kind of weighty because there's yours? the biggest refugee population right. in the world. Is yeah. They did do us too. You know what? No, we, I did a different oh, one. We have what, we'll be talking about some other stuff when we come back, but I think one of the things that we should do is we should have one show that devote, devotes to what we've discovered. I think it's important.